Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. So I've been playing this tank, the Basotto, the Tier 6 Italian Tank Destroyer. And let me tell you, this tank is an underrated gem. It reminds me a lot of the J-Panther in Tier 7, and I really like that tank. And this tank is just that tank in Tier 6. Uh, let me give you a quick review of the tank, and then we'll jump into two games. They're both pretty good. Overall. I want to say great, but because I know some players will struggle with it being low to the ground and being a tank destroyer and no turret, I'm going to say good. Very good, if you want to be uh, precise. Gun. Good. Yeah, it's a solid gun. Armor. Good. You'll get some bounces, that's for sure, for, surprisingly for a tank destroyer. And maneuverability. Good. Yeah, as you can see, this tank doesn't really have a weakness. The only thing I can say about it is it doesn't have a turret. So, yeah, if you're not know playing non-turreted tanks, this is one you want to pick up. So, let's jump right in to the first game. Now, in both games, I'm going to be lower tier. So, you're really going to get an idea of what this tank is capable of, even when you're lower tier. Um, they have a Panther, which is a solid medium tank. They have a Hellcat, of course, one of my favorite tier 6s. They also have an AMX, a decent uh, French heavy tank, and the Kunzapanzer, which is probably their best tank. We have a T-29, that's awesome, and he's heading over to sea, so that's good news. He should be able to use his gun depression and really take control of that area with any luck. I'm going to head over to A and see if I can do some medium hunting. But lo and behold, we have a target already. The AMX has decided to go mid, which is not the best position for him. And he's going to stop here, which is not the wisest of decisions. And he's taken one hit from me. Doesn't know where he's getting hit from, which tells me this guy is not the sharpest tool in the shed. Maybe I should have changed to APCR there. Okay, so... I'd love to get rid of that Hellcat over there. BK is behind cover. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to wait here and see which tank decides to pop on up. Okay, come on, Hellcat. You know you want to. Thank you, Mr. Hellcat. That was much appreciated. But now he's gone back into cover, so I'm going to turn my sights to the Panther. At this distance, I don't have the best shot, so I'm going to use APCR to guarantee the pen. If he was sideways, I wouldn't have bothered, but frontally, that armor can be a little bit troll. I decided to take a blind shot there. Figured why not. Didn't have any of the shots anyway. But look at this. It's a minute 30 into the game, and only one tank has been killed. A few tanks are not looking too healthy, but they're not dead. They haven't pushed in too aggressively, which is a rare thing, to be honest, in Blitz. A lot of games are already... Oh, brother. So we've just lost our T-29. That's a problem now, because C is going to be rushed, in my opinion. Would love to get rid of this guy. Okay, I did, so he's gone. And lo and behold, yeah, we lost another tank. So it's up to us over here, around A cap. Can we pull this out? It's not looking good. I'll be honest with you. And they sense it. They sense the blood is in the water. So it's three versus six. Need to get rid of this KV-2. Yes. So that's nice. Don't have to worry about getting nuked later on. My buddy and I are both full health. That's good news. But it's three versus five. And the VK is pushing in against our T-20. T-20 maybe not the best player on the planet. VK 28.01 is a solid tank, even though it's tier 6, it can really manhandle a lot of tanks, even though they're higher tier. Luckily, they didn't push in together, so we're able to take one out. Now I'm going to take a few hits, I don't mind, because... Oh, brother, I can take a lot of hits here. Okay, I bounce that. As you can see, the armor does work. Now I'd love to get rid of this Kunzer Panzer, but... Wow, triple team. That is painful. On fire, his engines. Oh my goodness me. So he's gone. So from five versus three a minute ago, it is now three versus two in our favor. Just don't want to get bombed by the SU 100Y. That's why I'm backing up, hopefully behind cover. Okay. And now I'm just going to head on over and see if I can find the Hellcat. 
or the SU, whichever one. I've got the most health hit points and probably the best armor, so I'm telling my buddies, just relax, let me do something, let me find them. And lo and behold, we have found the SU-100. He's gone mid, which is an interesting choice. Don't quite have a shot on him, which is a shame. Gonna head over there, but I've been lit up. Was it by him or... Aha! Uh -huh. It's by Mr. Hellcat. Now, he doesn't have many hit points left. I could charge him, but since I was spotted, I just want to wait a little bit longer. Will the Hellcat stay where he is? Probably not. So I'm just going to head on over there and see if I can find him. I can take a few hits, so that's not a problem. Of course, I could get Amorakt. Anything's possible, but come on, grow some is what I've got to say if you're that scared of getting hit in a digital tank. Come on. Now we have a cap and we're at 800 points, so we could really just cap this out. I might want to get C just to ensure the victory. We just lost our T20, so now it's two versus two. Just tell my buddy, just wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses, there's no rush. However, I've just noticed that my buddy's lost pretty much all his health, so I'm guessing he got nuked by the SU-100Y. Nice shot there, the shoebox is still deadly. And, oh, I want the Hellcat, oh, here he is, here he is, turn, 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 bounce that, and he's gone. And now it's 2v1. Since I'm here, I might as well just get the base figure, guarantee the victory no matter what. My buddy's got a turret and he's got speed, so he's able to get away from the SU-100Y. I'm just going to pop up here in a second after I've got the base to see if I can get one last shot in. And lo and behold, I can indeed. And he's gone. So, a nice game to start off with. How much damage did I do again? Was it 2,600 and what was it? 92. Not a bad start if you ask me. Let's not waste any more time and just jump right into the second game. Looking at the lineups, neither team has a super OP tank. No Annie, no Smasher, so that's good news. Best tank in the game, maybe the Tiger 1 or the CS52 on their team. We have a Pharaoh and an IS. Hmm. We also have a Hellcat, so that's good news. That's my buddy as usual. He loves his Hellcat. Um, would be nice if the Eagle went to B and could use his gun pressure and his turret to spot the enemy up. But lo and behold, he decides to go to A. Hmm, doesn't give me much faith in that guy. <sighs> okay, so we just have to laugh. Now someone's at B. Okay, luckily they backed on up. Hmm, what should we do? Fire blind shot. So did my buddy. Oh, look what we have here. Come on. Come on. Reload. 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 Let me hit him. Yeah. Ay. Ay, 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 ay. So I'm still sitting at zero. It's a minute into the game, pretty much, and nothing much has happened so far. Thankfully, though, our KV-1S has decided to wake up, and he's joined the fray. But we only know where two tanks are right now, so I'm wondering... Are the rest of them sitting at the back there? Now, no one's gotten C yet. So maybe their whole team is just sitting at spawn. I'm going to head over here and see if I can get some side shots on this tiger and maybe make my way over to C. So here I go. Had a little bit of issue with my finger placement, but got it worked out. And off I go. So I'm just heading up. Oh, oh, oh look what I've got here. Oh, hello, Mr. SU-152. So, he's a tank I just got to be a little bit careful of. His gun does hit hard. And, oh, 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 we've got another tank here. Oh, brother. KV-2. Oof. So, I've taken the hit. Oof. That was a little bit painful, but it's not the end of the world. Just have to be careful of this KV-2 here. Can I hit him? And, yes. And I didn't take a hit in return, so that's nice. Remember, this tank is low to the ground, so it's a little hard to hit sometimes. Also makes it difficult to shoot other tanks. You just gotta peek on over and hope you don't get hit in return. So that's what I'm doing here. Unfortunately, this M6 wants me. So, ba-boom, bounce that. I said the armor in this tank does work. I'm just afraid of this SU-152 getting around and hitting me hard. I will not be able to survive his gun. 
but lo and behold, I've now got some cover. That's very much appreciated, Mr. M6. So I'm just gonna hug this tank. My teammate should be able to finish these guys off. It's seven versus three now. It's pretty much all over. I can't tell which angle the SU-152 is pointing at, so I'm just staying safe right now. Come on. Can I get another shot or two in here? Maybe. This guy really wants me, that's for sure. <laughs> but that wasn't the best move ever. And now it's two versus seven. Now I can come up behind the SU-152. Boom, it's one shot. Reload, I'll bump up again. He's not looking at me, he's focused on someone else. That's great news. Another shot. Boom, one more. Could probably take a hit, so I'm just gonna sit out here in the open. Yeah, that was painful, but no big deal because, yep, he's gone. So, lo and behold, a very easy game. As you can see, this tank can pump out the damage quite quickly. 2,675, almost identical to the previous game. This is a great little tank, guys. Fun to play, can do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I'd say pick it up. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Do you like the Basoto? Do you have the Basoto? Do you want the Basoto? Let me know in the comments below. But give me a like if you like this video, I'd appreciate that. Give me a sub if you're crazy enough to want more. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.